today. Today, guys, we do not have face cam. It's going to be quite some time before we have face cam. But we are back at it again. I've just been hiding in the shadows this entire freaking time. And now I feel like it's time for me to come back. I should have came back a way long time ago. It just things happen. They'll feel me. But today, guys, we are going to be really just talking about the Will Smith and Chris Rock thing because this is the real thing that everyone's talking about. I did come a few, uh, did become late, you know, everyone released their videos yesterday. I swear, I saw Jamari, Optimus, Playback, like a freaking agent in low, and then Cash, like Cash is not having a reaction YouTuber or anything like that. He's even covered it all yesterday, all around the exact same time, and I was late because of reasons. But today, guys, we will be covering this situation. Honestly, we'll be watching the video, and then I'll be having my opinion about it and all that. So, without further ado, let's stop wasting time to make it more easier on me and you guys. And let's just hop, just hop into the video. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Okay, so for you guys who don't know, this is Chris Rock. Basically, he's a comedian guy. I don't really watch his crap. I think he's funny. I mean, yeah, he, he really... Does shake his chill, you know, he's just doing his usual thing. I mean, he's a comedian. He's his, 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 his This is just simply what he does. So Let's continue watching Now if she loses he can't win <laughs> <laughs> He is praying that Will Smith wins like please Lord Jada Okay, but before we get to that moment I was gonna let you know a little bit what happened before this. Basically, Chris Brock basically got on stage, you know what I'm saying? He's basically though making jokes, you know. I mean he's trying to make this fun, you know. He's just doing his usual thing. I mean, Kevin Hart would do the same. I say for Chris Rock. And basically every comedian who had this job is gonna be throwing jokes at people. I said for he's not just he didn't just talk about Will. He talked about those two. He talked about a few other people before he even got to Will. You know what I'm saying? For, like, look at Will. He's having a great time in this right now, bro. Fresh cut and everything, bro. You see this? What the f- Anyways, I said for, it's all good. But as soon as he brings up Jada. I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Alright? I see, Will Smith is laughing at this, you feel me? She, not so much. I said for, this wasn't even a joke, alright? Like, if you actually, I mean, if, you know, look, this wasn't even a joke. He just said, like, he can't wait to see the new movie. Eh. I saw people was talking about, like, how he was, she was bald, and, like, people was talking about, oh, he's the only saying that because he was bald, and all that, like, nigga, no. He's simply just saying, he's basically, not even, he, he's not, he's the for it. It's not a joke, it's just him congratulating him. People are just laughing because he said it in his usual Chris Rock way. And let's head forward. Look at Will Smith. He is happy right now. Will Jada? Not so much. She's Jada. Uh, yeah, yeah, the little eye roll. And said four. A lot of people always talk about like how she didn't get mad. I mean, he didn't get mad until he saw her not laughing. And then how she started getting serious. Look at this man. <laughs> like said four. Look at him. He she says that this isn't he meant that this is not a just he didn't throw fun at her. He didn't make no jokes. He simply just said, hey, I'm excited to see your new movie. This is, he's not doing anything wrong in this situation. <laughs> and he's just confused why everyone's laughing. But it's, hey, it's a good time. So, if anyone else smiles, you smile too. That's just how it works. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. And look, he, this is the space of realization before he realized Will Smith is about to walk up. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh oh, Richard. He look, even he's smiling right now. Like he he thinks Will Smith about to just say something, you know. But he's enjoying it, he's smiling, cause it's it for Chris Walker is just that guy to always be smiling and laughing. That's just his personality. <laughs> and then we get to this moment right here. Oh wow. Now I'll play that back again, just just to make just to make sure y'all know. First of all, your hand is dead wide open, <laughs> buddy. Like, after you slap someone, you don't have your hand still wide out open. Just, just that's just a saying. So I say he, I feel like he did that like very stiffly, but anyway, he's smiling, you know. He look, and then he just gets tired. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. 
And look, even after he just got smacked, most of us in this situation would start beating that little god out of Will Smith in this situation. No joke for him. Even if he did just smack him in front of all of his friends and family, he's still, he's trying to get that behind him and just have a good time, you know? And now wow. he doesn't have a smile on his face. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Yeah, four. I didn't see the joke in it. I really didn't, but let's have four. Like, there's no reason to be mad at this. Now, this, we've never seen Will Smith like this. Like, of course, most of you guys know, unless you're just simply uncultured or living in a rock, that Jada Smith cheated on Will Smith. Or Jada Pinkett, whatever freak you want to call her. I mean, it's still Smith at the end of the day. She's married to him. And Either way, everyone knows that she cheated on him. All right. My question is, why in... Why in? How are you still defending her after everything she has done to you? She not only did she threaten to unmarry, basically get a divorce. She cheated on you, and she treats you like dirt. She treats you like you're not even a human being. And yet, the fact that you're still with her actually surprises me. All right. Now this is like this is some real simp activity right here. This is some. I can get no bitches without this activity right here, bro. This is just, this is just sad. I, I'm sorry. As soon as I get signs of my girl cheating, I'm leaving, yo. Yeah? But I, I guess you know, since then the marriage and all that. I mean, even then, he if he were to get a divorce, he's the one getting half of her belongings. I mean, as I did say before. They do invest in each other, and they their careers basically drive off each other. But I'm sorry. If you care about your money that much over your relationship, and the fact that you're getting that mad over her, meaning that you care about both of them, you you have some mental issues. I swear, you, you really do have some mental issues. I'm sorry, but if I was in Will Kiss case, I would have easily already done broke up with her. I, I, been, I said four. Even if it is, you have invested in each other. You get half of everything she owns. Half of everything, bro. Like, that comes to money, plus belongings, and all of that. Bro, I'd rather take that and keep everything I have than stay with her and still be continue to be treated like an object. Because that's really what he is at this point. That's just, just, be, just, be, just, just be factual here. You're, he's literally just an object at this point. I don't understand uh, that. J Will Smith is taking this way too far. I said, for it's a Grammy Awards. He's a comedian. He's supposed to be making jokes. He's supposed to get everyone laughing. And why is it that everyone else could take a joke except you? Okay, no, no, you, you wasn't the one who. I said, for you did. I mean, I won't get me wrong. Will Smith was the one who took the joke. Jada wasn't like this. Time, I have never problem with Jada because I, I absolutely hate Jada at this point. She. Literally means no she is nothing. Alright. And anyone who actually supports her, you need to get some mental help right now. I'm talking, go to your psychiatrist. Not a psychiatrist. What the freak you want to call it? Therapist or whatever you want to call it. Go to them right now and get some help. If you actually support her in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry, but not just that. He, he didn't even make a joke that was that bad. Alright. And the fact that you couldn't take a, that joke, even on SF4 for me, because I don't really know her movies, I don't really know what's going to come out or anything like that, so and that's all of that. But either way, even if it was a joke that I didn't get, take the freaking joke! It's a joke for a reason, bro! Oh. Wait, bro, you're not supposed to take jokes seriously. This is what's wrong with this generation. This isn't just the younger people, but this goes for literally everybody. Literally any age group is that niggas nowadays do not know how to take a fucking joke. Like, bro, if he if he makes a joke, yeah, yeah, just smile a bit, you know. Seem like at least you're trying. All right, I swear, Virginia then became a lesbian at this point. Let's be just let's be 
100, but keeping a buck 50 with y'all right now. She's literally a lesbian at this point. But not like a normal everyday lesbian. Like, I'm talking BuzzFeed feminist lesbian activity, bro. I'm still surprised Will Smith is even with her. I mean, it's, it's just surprising. It's stupid. And I absolutely hate it, honestly. But, anyways, I'll play the rest of the clip, even though there's not really much. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. I'm doing? That was a... Uh... Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. And the fact that he's still able to move on. This is a Chad right here, alright? I don't care what else. This is a Sigma right here, bro. That That's just factual, bro. I'm sorry. I said for most of us in this situation would have beaten Will at this point. I mean, the fact that you're sipping so much for this girl. And you even laughed at the joke yourself. Like, come on, bro. I'm sorry, this one did, would not have a problem if he never looked at Jada. He never would have had a problem. I don't know, I said for, I don't know why Will did this. I said for, he probably, he needs some mental help. Mental institutions, come on guys, sign him up, sign a petition or something to get this man in the mental hospital or whatever the freak you want to call it. And, just thinking about, just shout out to my boy Chris Rock because even after getting smacked, he was still able to continue on with the thing, bro. That, that's just a real chat like thing to do. And I have absolute respect for him. But there is going to be another clip I think is going to be an aftermath of what happens. But if not, then I'll think I'll end the video. E.T. is learning new details about Chris Rock and Will Smith's altercation and what's being called the slap around the world. Follow I forgot to mention that. This whole, this thing was so big. <clears throat> It's literally named, I mean, it's literally dubbed the slap herd across the world. Basically, if y'all are also uncultured that game, it's basically supposed to be a reference to the shot, I mean, the shot herd around the world that broke a whole bunch of wars and all that, but they're not getting that serious. We're just trying to watch a video. Come on. Back from the comedian about Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh oh, Richard! Well, that's, this is a lesbian. Y'all could not tell me this is a straight woman right here. You cannot tell me that she is fully straight. And no, you just can't tell me. She she is far beyond straight at this point. She's gayer than gay itself. <laughs> but, but it's not even about that. It's about the fact that why is she doing this? I I, I never knew Jada, you know. The only people I knew in the Smith family were Will, freaking Jaden. You know, karate movie and all that. Well, my favorite movies of all time. People hate it, but I loved it. And I think her her name was also Jada again, like the daughter. I don't really know. I've been keeping up with them. I only know Will and Jaden. Shout out to Jaden Rapkier, bro. He's actually pretty good. But all I'm saying is that who is you? I swear to God, bro. I, I could never. I don't know how Will could keep up with this, bro. I could never. Life, Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh-oh, Richard! <laughs> Not... Oh, wow! She... Wow! Wait, why? Will Smith... Did... So, what does one do after getting slapped? I don't know what he did. Awards? Yeah. Well, if you're Chris, you don't let it ruin your night. A source tell... Such a... Sigma right here, bro. Oh my god. He went to a high profile bash thrown by talent agent Guy O'Siri. Oh yeah. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Despite his televised assault, which was broadcast in over 200 countries. Look at he's smiling. Yeah. Chris appeared unfazed and was having a good time at the party. And for he was having a good time. He didn't want to let the incident with Will ruin his night out with friends. Chris was still in shock by the whole incident and didn't want it to become a whole thing at the party, so he didn't talk too much. This, this okay, guys. I want y'all guys right now to take notes. Take notes right now, bro. This is how they become a sigma right here, bro. About it. The source added, honestly, Chris seemed to really be having fun and not letting it get to him. That's what I'm talking about. In wake of the shocking moment, many celebs voiced their support for Chris. You know. I would like more of a straight apology. 
to, to Chris. I thought Will's performance... He's crying! Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Will also won the Grammy Awards. Like, at that point, I, he would've just been kicked out. Like, I mean, you can't really kick him out, you know, it's the Grammy Awards, but... This would've been not only the first time in history that someone... I say Grammy? D did I say gr Grammy? Wait a minute. There's Grammy, and then there's... I think it's called Grammy Awards. Oh, but I, I told you, I haven't been keeping up with this crap, but I've been on YouTube my whole life. Okay, there's Grammy, and then there's, uh... No, man, let's just call it Gr Grammys, because... Well, let's get it. At this point, if I was the administrator, I would not condone this type of behavior. He probably would have been kicked out. If not, we would. someone would have pulled out some boxing gloves, I would have made sure I had them on deck, and he would have boxed. You know what I'm it was amazing, and I'm sorry that he... Tarnished it. Yeah, if I was, I mean, if I was like, if I was, no, nah, I would be if I was here, but if I was Chris Rock, I would, I would want an apology after that. Like, after I had fun and all that, I demand an apology because you ain't gonna do that and slap me in front of everyone like that. We're just gonna run hands. With this behavior. Meanwhile, seemingly just as many reactions sided with the newly minted Oscar winner. I seen a man stand up for his wife. This tells me. She knows nothing about the history Jada and Will have been having. This tells me that she's probably only standing up for her because she's a black woman. This tells me that you're probably you probably watch BuzzFeed. That's all you probably watch BuzzFeed. Which we don't see that much anymore. Yes, we, we see it all the time! See, this is what I'm talking about. I hate it when people always talk about, oh, we don't see this, or we don't see that, but we see it almost every time. Like, yeah, the times has changed. Now, most people, more people, such as myself, believe in equal rights, equal fights. If a woman hits a man, a, hand des a man deserves to hit a woman. It's just like normal craps. So, we, it's like, nowadays, if a man were to hit me, if a, someone were to hit your wife or whatever, and you're not there... Like, let's, yeah, let's, let's say you are there, all right, and someone hits your wife, I mean, it, no, no, someone hits your wife, because if someone made a joke about your wife, but knowing dang well that your wife would not do the same for you if you were to get made fun of, then I believe that you should do not have to do anything about that. I mean, it's that for Chris Rock didn't even do nothing that bad. I don't know, he just threw a little joke out the man. And everyone enjoyed it, including Will. So the fact that there's no defending here, especially because as his word, he was joking about whole other people before he even got to them. My question is, why did he do something? Why couldn't they take a joke, but everyone else could? They put her face up on the screen, looked over at his white sheets. Nigga, what the freak are you talking about? Last time I checked, her face was nowhere on that screen. While Chris partied elsewhere, the Smith family let loose at the star-studded Vanity Fair party. Trophy in hand, that's Will rapping summertime. The Oscars! Oh my... I'll show you guys, I don't know, I don't know nowadays crafts no more, bro. It's the Oscar Awards, not the freaking Grammy. Grammy's music. Grammy's a little... Music machine thingy and Spongebob were the freak. For the gathered crowd. My question is, why you Okay, I get it. Will Smith is not a bad guy, and in context, he's defending his wife. But this, all this tells me is that y'all simply don't care about history. That's all this tells me, bro. All right. At the party tells ET Will was acting as though nothing happened earlier. The source adds everyone was pretty much ignoring the entire situation, including Will. Mm -hmm. I think that the um, I think that the two gentlemen need to deal with it, and I think that the academy needs to deal with yeah, it. But he probably do. won't be able to keep the blinders up for much longer. I want to apologize to the academy. I want to apologize to my all my fellow nominees. The Academy announced an investigation. But you didn't apologize to Chris Rock? You know, the guy you slapped after making one small, not even offensive joke? 
is underway, saying in a statement on Monday, We've officially started a formal review around the incident and will explore further action and con- As I said before, Chris Rock did nothing wrong. So they do come out with this. Nothing harmful should be coming to Chris Rock's way. Cause he, so for he did nothing wrong. The only person in the wrong here was Will Smith for basically assaulting him over a small, tiny joke. He's a comedian. That's what he do for a living. That's how he gets ratings. That's how he gets literally his whole career, man, is making jokes. If you didn't want him, if you didn't want a comedian to be on stage, why did you vote for him to be there? This ain't like this now generation is screwed. That's all I'm saying. This this generation is screwed. I I, I put money on it at this point. Consequences. While many in Hollywood were critical of his actions, Will has plenty of people in his corner. The fact that I am an extension of this legacy is such an amazing honor. Who are you? Who, who who are you, kid? Are you are you are you a son or something? A secret love child or something? Who or who are you? Are you like his friend? Are you Jaden's friend? Or who who are you, kid? Who who are you? Including Jabari Banks, who took up the Fresh Prince mantle in. Oh, you're the guy doing the new that thingy. That's how he made take up the mantle. That's. That's my bad, but I already know that I already know the show is gonna be bad. I'm telling you guys, anytime they bring back something, it's always bad. There was never one time in history where they brung back something and it was good. Maybe one or twice, but even then, it still didn't get that much popularity. Even so, except for it, anytime they bring back something, it's never good. It never reached the pinnacles it did as its original series. Because the original show was a banger. And I, as far as much of what I heard, this is not going to be a good show. At least, well, the, the trades and all that, it's not a good show. I'll probably do another video on that later, but right now, I think I've ran out a little bit of time, you feel me? So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Sorry for keeping you all on hold so long. And I'll see y'all guys when I can. Peace.